possible missing child. I have a three-year-old that's been missing for a month. Uh, okay, what is the three-year-old's name? Kaylee, C-A-Y-L-E-E, -E, Anthony. It was the 911 call that set off a national obsession. Hundreds of volunteers frantically searching for an adorable missing toddler. Cops chasing down thousands of tips and possible sightings. <laughs> Americans coast to coast demanding answers and justice for a helpless child who vanished in a tsunami of secrecy and lies. And two grandparents put through Total hell. You gotta f guys. What are you gonna f oh, no. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Casey was sitting on the floor crying, and I overheard her tell me that she came in and gone for 31 days, and that she. that the fanny had taken her. How did you respond to that? I lost it. I just went into the room and started yelling at Katie. What, what do you mean, Jesus? My God. Why didn't you tell me? I swore at her and hit the bed and ran out and called the police again. July 15, 2008, the precious toddler Kaylee was nowhere to be found. Her young mother had suddenly blurted out that her daughter disappeared 31 days earlier, claiming her nanny had abducted her. How could a seemingly loving mom not tell anyone for a whole month that her toddler had been kidnapped? It was one of the questions cops asked, uncorking a geyser of toxic secrets. I know who has her. I've tried to contact her. I actually received a phone call today now from a number that is no longer in service. I did get to speak to my daughter for about a moment, about a minute. White Katie female. Anthony. Yes, white female. Three years old, 8, 9, 2005 is her date of birth? Yes. And you last saw her a month ago? 31 days. From 31 days. Who has her? Do you have, do you have a name? Her name is Zenaida Fernandez Gonzalez. Who is that? Babysitter? She's, she's been my nanny for about a year and a half, almost two years. Can, can, why, why are you calling now? Why didn't you call 31 days ago? I've been looking for her and have gone through other resources to try to find her, which is stupid. Casey Anthony, the young woman soon to be known to the world as Tot Mom. In the coming months, scandalous photos would emerge showing Casey dirty dancing at a nightclub during the 31 days she claimed she had been secretly hunting for her missing daughter. Casey was clearly enjoying her night out, looking anything but distraught. Casey Anthony was living the high life the whole time that Kaylee was missing. She was dancing on tables, she was going to clubs, she was wearing her blue cocktail dress. She was having the greatest of times. And then when anybody would ask her if everything was going okay, she'd say, yeah, everything's fine. Kaylee's with the nanny. And so nobody even had an inkling that Kaylee was missing or that Casey had done anything at that point. Casey also got a tattoo that read Bella Vita, Italian for the beautiful life. Was Casey living the good life while her innocent and defenseless three-year-old was kidnapped and held hostage? Day one, Monday, June 16th, 2008. She told her mother that she was going to spend the night with a babysitter by the name of Sandy. Day two, day 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. No one knows where Kaylee is. And Casey Anthony is just gallivanting around Orlando, captured on video at Target, captured on video at a Bank of America eventually. Imagine spending more than a month with a friend and you're going shopping, she's having sex with her boyfriend, she's running videos, she's dancing on tables, she's just having a great time. And then finding out at the end that her daughter, who was supposedly the love of her life, had been missing for 31 days. Well, her friends couldn't believe it. Her friends were angry, they felt betrayed, they felt confused. And, 
everybody wanted to know what what's wrong with Casey? Why would she do this? Why would she keep these secrets instead of just doing what any normal person would do, which is go to the cops and say, hey, there's a problem. So her friends just couldn't believe their eyes when they started you know, seeing in the news what Casey was alleged to have done and what she had been going through during those 31 days because she gave them no indication whatsoever. Surveillance video of Casey shopping for beer, bras, and sunglasses raised the ultimate question. Is this how a loving mother behaves when she knows something awful has happened to her daughter? Or is this young woman casually enjoying a secret life? No one, especially a woman, could understand how Casey Anthony could go out partying and drinking in bars while her daughter was missing.